Hey everybody, welcome to Yeah Buddy. Do you have cable internet that continuously stops working? Today we're gonna to show you how to fix that. Let's go do it. But first, take a moment to hit the like button and hit the subscribe button if you wanna see more how-to videos. Yeah buddy. All right, here we have our standard cable modem from Spectrum. This just came standard with the high-speed internet package that I have and here we have our router that also came standard, and by came standard meaning I'm probably getting price gouged and having to pay rent for each of these devices. Over the last many, many years, I've had people come out and check out our cable on many, many, many occasions. The cable just drops out. I unplug it, I plug it back in. I have a cable guy crawl around on the roof. I have them replace all the cables on our New York City apartment building. I've had them put splitters on. I've had them take splitters off. I've had everything done and nothing seems to ever work. That is until a friend told me to just break down, buy your own equipment, buy your own router, buy your own modem. The modem that you rent with your package cannot handle the highs and the lows that uh, are coming through the old pipelines and the old system. So this is old junk that just can't handle the terrible signal that you get. That's why I was the, the friend told me to buy something that's a little more capable. So what we bought was this Aris surfboard. Um, works with lots of different providers, Xfinity, Cox, Spectrum. We have Spectrum and the SB6183. We also bought the Nighthawk AC1900 smart Wi-Fi router. Well, we plugged it in. Everything is working like a dream. You can see that the Netgear Nighthawk is, is kicking butt and taking names. And we also have the Aris surfboard working like a dream also. Now, I'll mention this. After a day of using the Aris, it stopped working. One of the lights started flashing. I believe it is the, this one. It's supposed to be blue if high speed internet is rocking and rolling, except it stopped. And so I was pretty bummed out. And so then I looked up another video and was checking out the signal strength of my equipment. And eventually somebody said, if you've got a splitter on, that might be the problem. Well, Spectrum and other providers continuously put splitters on because they have this old garbage equipment. That's what I understand. So after buying my new equipment, I went back in the lines and took the splitter off to where it's just getting, I guess, the straight um, you know, signal incoming and outgoing. And I have not had any problems since it's still kicking butt, like I said. It's still glowing blue like a machine. And uh, thus far, it's solved the problem. Again, how to fix your old crappy modem. All you gotta do is probably buy a new one. It is a little bit of an investment, but what I'm gonna do this week is call up and return this equipment, and they'll stop charging me, I don't know, 15 bucks a month for, for the rental. So eventually down the line, this stuff will pay for itself and uh, hopefully just the, the problem with not having internet is gonna go away. Anyway, I hope that this might be informative or it might work for you. Yeah, buddy.